second, Safari, our streaming Safari. Today is Graph on Giraffes. Now, just a couple things before we start. First off, thank you everyone for such a warm welcome for our first one later earlier this week. We really do appreciate it. We hope to get more later on. However, things are changing very, very quickly. So we appreciate your support. We appreciate everybody being willing to work with us. We are trying to go and figuring out some more ways of how we can go and make this a little bit easier for everyone to join us. But so far, thank you so much. Just be aware, we're gonna have some kinks to work out. And uh, just to be prepared to go to our Facebook page for the most current up-to-date announcements. Now we are officially under our shelter in place here in Nevada. So we are working on a skeleton crew right now. So we have volunteers. And then we have our regular staff in here. We're going to be coming in and taking care of the animals as much as possible. But at this time, we are no longer open to the public. So there are going to be ways that you can help, and I'll mention that towards the end of the video. Let's go ahead and get started. So again, my name is Keeper Kylie. I'm sure you guys remember me, but I'm joined over here by Shelby and Caitlin. These guys are also new keepers here, and they're helpful. But this guy is really our star of the show here. He's kind of the star of the ranch, if you know him. This is Ozzy. Ozzy is a six-year-old male giraffe. So he's probably a lot of the same ages that you guys are at home. So friends, I want you to tell me, are you older or younger than Ozzy here? And now the next thing is, who's bigger? Now Ozzy is a giraffe. He's a pretty well-known animal. Everyone knows his great big long neck. But let's go and talk about some things that make giraffes pretty neat. I want to go and point out his feet to start. If we can, he has hooves, kind of like a horse or a cow. So he has two toes and they separate into two different hooves. Now Ozzy here, again, he's only six and kind of a kid like you guys is still growing. By the time he's full size, those hooves are going to be about 12 inches, a whole foot. And that's going to be pretty impressive to see. Now he is obviously a lot bigger than me. And he is still growing. But, let me take a look over here. When a baby giraffe is very first born, they are six feet tall. I'm not. So a baby giraffe from the moment it's born is actually taller than me. So they start off very, very tall and they only go up from there. Now the only thing with that is mom actually gives birth standing up. So that baby giraffe has a long way down and that's how it starts off with a bang. Pretty impressive. Now Shelby and Caitlin over here are working really, really well to go and give Ozzy some fun treats while we're here. We've had two oh. people ask about how tall is Ozzy? So right now he is about 16 feet. If you see up there, we have kind of our growth chart up there, just like for our kids at home. So right now he's right around 16 feet. He is still growing though. They're typically growing for the first seven to eight years of life. So we still expect him to get a little bit taller, somewhere between the 18 to 20 foot range. Possibly getting as high as 22, but we suspect it'll probably be on the shorter side of that. So just like you guys, He's still growing, pretty impressive. That's why these vegetables that he's getting for treats are so important, guys. Remember, if you wanna grow up like a giraffe, eat those veggies. Now, let's talk about that. There's a special word for an animal that only eats vegetables. Now, you guys might know it. If you do, now's a good time to shout it out. What's an animal that only eats plants and vegetables? Pretty sure I heard you guys. It's an herbivore. I'm gonna say that one more time. You can say it again with me, okay? herbivore. Really good. That's an animal that only eats plants. So you can see he's eating some lettuce and some carrots and those are actually one of his favorite treats. Can you guys imagine doing really really well in your homework and instead of getting an A plus you get a big bowl of broccoli? Yeah that's how he goes. Looks like we have another question. We got two. Sure so the first question is how much does Ozzy weigh and the second is how long is his tongue? So I'll answer the first one real quick. Right now, we don't have an official weight on him. We don't have a scale big enough right now. We're working on getting one. We estimate though that he's somewhere around 1,500 to 2,000 pounds. He can get a little bit larger. A full-size reticulated giraffe is gonna be closer to 3,000 pounds. Now, as far as his tongue goes, Shelby's gonna go and stick that out for you. A little bit different than mine. So his 
is about 16 inches. The way you can figure out the length of a giraffe's tongue is you take their height. If Ozzy is 16 feet, for every one foot of height, their tongue is one inch long. If Ozzy is 16 feet, his tongue is 16 inches. Okay. Last two questions right now I've got. Um, we've got how old is Ozzy and I have somebody who wants to know how he was born. So for that second one there, that's a really good opportunity to go and ask those parents out there about where he was born. He was born in Kansas. So he's a mammal, so he didn't come from an egg, so just like us, but he was born in Kansas. And because boy giraffes tend to go and fight a lot to get girlfriends, dad wouldn't have seen him as a son. Dad would have seen him as a competition for girls. So it would be safer to get a baby Aussie away from dad. That's how it happens naturally out in Africa. They really don't stick around too much with their with their herd. They're actually going to go and strike out on their own when they're young, especially those boys. Boy giraffes by themselves. They're called solitary. So they're just going to go around looking for girlfriends. Now, how old is Ozzy? He just had a birthday. He's six. And then one more. His tongue. Why is it purple? And does he play with any toys? Oh, that's a great question. It's actually a two-parter because yeah, let's talk about that tongue. Giraffes eat a lot, about 40 pounds in a day. And so out in Africa, their tongue has to be out grasping onto that food and leave all day long. And it's gonna be exposed out in that really hot sunlight. Can you imagine having a sunburn on your tongue? Ugh. So that's why it's that dark color to help with that, to help keep it from getting sunburned. It's pretty neat. Now let's talk about his toys. If you can look back there in the barn, it's a little bit hard to see because it's a little bit dark in there. But you'll notice that there are some boards on there with some latches and hinges for him to play with. Those are his toys and he actually uses his tongue to play with those. Now outside in his yard, there's one you can kind of see right there. We call it his fidget spinner. It's a black X that we can go and fill with tasty veggie treats in there. But again, he can use his tongue to get out and play with. He also has a ball, a brush and um, just his trainers as well were able to go and interact with them pretty well. All right, got a couple more questions. Absolutely, <laughs> thank you guys so much for showing up. I absolutely love answering these questions. All right, so we've had a couple people ask if Ozzy's a boy or a girl. I know you may have mentioned that, but they may have missed it. And then we also wanted to know how big his ears get and if he was born in human care. He was born in human care at the Tanganyika Wildlife Park out in Kansas. Hi, Lindley. <laughs> so his ears, they're going to grow in proportion to his head. So right now his ears are just under a foot. They're gonna stay probably within that range, about 10 inches to a foot right here. Now, Ozzy is a boy, and there's a way you can tell just by looking at him. Let's talk about these up on top of his head. Those have a very special name. They're called ossicones. I'm gonna say that one more time. Follow along with me. Ossicones. Pretty neat. They're not horns, they're not antlers. They're actually part of his skull. His skull grows like that. They're pretty neat. Now, for the parents out there wondering, he does not come out with those when he's born from mama. They are born flat on top of their head, and they grow up and they attach later on in life, similar to humans uh, with their with their loosey goosey spells right there. Right. Aussies there are bald. They don't have any fur on top of them. That's how you can tell young giraffes apart and girl giraffes. Girl giraffes still keep that fur on on top. We have a pretty fun name for it. We call it ossipuffs. So if you still see a giraffe with those Asa puffs up on top of their Asa cones there, you're most likely looking at a female. And also that big lump on top of his head there, that's his mesocone, or middle Asa cone. And his is a lot bigger than a girl's. It's also a lot more prominent in the species in the northern side of Africa, like the northern giraffe and the related giraffes. All right. All right, so we've got how much does he eat per day? We want to know a little bit more about how he sleeps, a little bit about his enclosure sign or size, yeah. and then is Ozzy an artist? Does he paint? Oh my goodness, those are all really great questions, guys. And they will probably be our last questions because as much as I love to talk about Ozzy, I want you guys to participate at home in a craft too. So let's talk about Ozzy's enclosure size. So here he actually is going to be mostly inside for the day or cut down as one half of it. You can see that wall that goes all the way down here. Here in Vegas today, it's a little bit chilly, it's a little bit rainy. Giraffes have a hard time in the cold. So 
So when it gets cooler out like this, we make sure he has really good access to his barn, which is always kept at 78 degrees. So he's able to come in and stay nice and warm. If he wants to go out and play in the sun for a little bit, he can, but if the minute he gets chilly, we want him to come back in. And if we think it's gonna rain, it's gonna be better for him to be inside as well. Uh, what were the other questions? I already got those. Sleeping. Sleeping. Painting. And painting. Uh, and eating. And eating. Yeah. <laughs> he eats a lot. He will eat anywhere between the 40 to 60 pounds right now. Think of your teenage boys at home. He's always hungry. That's pretty standard for the giraffes. Now, how does a giraffe sleep? This is probably one of my favorite giraffe facts. They sleep standing up with their eyes wide open for a little amount of time. They'll take these little micro naps that um, last anywhere between about 30 seconds to maybe about a minute. And total, they'll sleep anywhere between 30 minutes to two hours in a day. That's it. The rest of their day is spent eating. So if you ever see a giraffe just kind of staring off, zoning into space, we call it stargazing, you're most likely looking at a sleeping giraffe. Now, that's out in their natural environment because you don't want to sleep where the animals can eat you really easily. So it takes a long time for a giraffe to lay down and even longer for them to get back up. So they will never lay down in their natural environment. However, in human care with us, he knows that he's really safe here. So we actually do find him asleep laying down in his barn pretty often. He knows that it's a nice, comfortable place. Now let's talk about our wonderful artist giraffe. He is an amazing artist. He can paint. And we actually are able to have him paint throughout the week because it's a really good way. You can see here that our trainers and our keepers are having him bring his head down. He gets to go and do something fun and we're able to check the health of him. He's still a growing giraffe. So how many can bring his head down to us? We can check his ears, his eyes, his teeth, and he gets to have a really fun time doing it. So painting is a really good way to combine those elements. Hi, good job. Now, before we get too far into this, guys, keep asking those questions. I'm not gonna be able to answer them live right now. If we have time at the end, I'll try and get back to them. But by all means, if you come to this post later on, even when we're not live, ask those questions. We are always happy to go and answer those for us. Now, we have a really fun craft for you guys today. Um, I think I need some help with that. Do you guys wanna come and help me? Sure. All right, come on over, guys. All right, hold on. Let my camera crew out here. My camera crew of Denise. Hi, Denise. <laughs> All right, so the reason we're calling today Giraffes on Giraffes is because we're going to be doing some really fun hand print giraffes, guys. All right, so for today's craft, follow along at home. I know this is live right now, but don't worry, it's going to stay up later on today. You can follow along. Go ahead and figure out what you want to use for your craft items and then come back to us. So even if you don't have the craft supplies right now, that's okay, save it for later. If you do have those supplies out, here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some craft paper, some scissors, or an adult to cut, guys, be safe. And really, any supplies that you have at home that you might wanna go and color in or use on your giraffe. This is for you. Now, here's a couple of things though. Your giraffe probably is gonna need some oxycodes. And if you do this guy over here, he's gonna need some hooks. So think about that. You might come up with a really fancy green and blue giraffe, but try and incorporate what we learned about him into your giraffe's at home. So what do you think, Shelby? Which one do you wanna be making today? I'll do this one since it's right in front of me. All right. So she's gonna do our upside down giraffe. I'm going to do the right side up giraffe. So, all right, and use that as a model there. Here's some paper for you and a pencil. So, I recommend for if you're doing the upside down giraffe to go at an angle. So, kind of come in, have your hand print off to the side, and use your arm off to the side there. So, you get a nice giraffe. Hand. If you're doing the upright giraffe hand, you only need four fingers. So, if you want to watch me, I'm gonna tuck this thumb in here. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna go and outline my hand just like this. And whoop, no thumb, coming right down there. Now another good tip for your upside down giraffe 
on this corner here to make it a little bit easier for you to get a nice face in there earlier leave a little bit of a U right there so that way you can draw in the face and the ears and ossicones later. All right, here's some scissors for you. I'll start cutting those out. Now giraffes only live in Africa. There's actually four different types. There's the northern and the reticulated giraffes. They live towards the central and eastern part of the continent. Aussie here is a reticulated giraffe. So if you look at a map of Africa, there's a little horn that comes out on the side. That's where the reticulateds come from, like Aussie. Reticulateds are the largest of the giraffes. There's also the southern and the Maasai giraffes. Southern live on the southern tip of the continent, and Maasai giraffes fill in a lot of the space in between the northern and the southern. Now, giraffes are amazing species. Typically when we think about Africa, we usually think about these guys and how amazing they are. But I want to go and talk about something a little bit serious right now. You guys are pretty smart out there and you may have heard of the word endangered. You've heard of that word before? If you do, go ahead. Shout out loud what you think endangered means. Pretty good. Endangered means there's not a lot left. So these animals are slowly vanishing from Earth. Now here's a word you probably do know, especially if you guys like dinosaurs out there, like I know a lot of you do. Extinct. Do you guys know what the word extinct means? If you do, go ahead and shout it out. Great job. Extinct means gone forever. There's no more. So if an animal is endangered, it means that there's a chance that that animal could vanish forever and go extinct. And that's what's happening with giraffes right now. So we want to help keep them nice and safe. And that's what Ozzy's job is here for. He's here to help teach you guys about how amazing these animals are so we can help keep them nice and safe and protected out in Africa. It's a really, really awesome job. Now there's a couple of ways that you can support them and I highly recommend checking out the Giraffe Conservation Fund. That's a, a program that we work really closely with here. They're sort of our boots on the ground. And so if you guys want to go and check them out, I recommend especially our older viewers out there, check them out. There's some really good ways that you can help giraffes, even if you're not where, if you're nowhere near them, I should say. All right, looks like we have our hands cut out. I will go and toss that over to you. I'll use this one over here. Now, if you happen to have art supplies like pencils or paint, feel free to go and, and grab those. Really, this giraffe is up to you, however you wanna go and make it happen. So now's a good chance to go and draw in a couple of those things that a giraffe has to have. Remember, we're gonna use these as his feet right there. So what does a giraffe have on the bottom of his feet? Hugs. Oh, very good, two of them. So you can go and draw those in. If you want a bigger pen, we're gonna use this one here. So you're gonna have four feet with Hooves at the end. I'm gonna go over here. Now if you're doing the right side up, remember he has his long ear, so I'm gonna go and draw a little tiny triangle. Remember a triangle has three sides right here on the outside, right here. A little long skinny triangle right there. Those are his ears. Now, your thumb, if you're doing the upside down, that's gonna turn into your giraffe's long tail. So why don't you go ahead and give him some nice long tail hairs. The hairs on their giraffe are actually more than a foot long. In some cases, they're almost two feet long. He has a very long uh, tail that he helps to go and swat those flies away. Uh -oh. You'll see as he turns around there. If he goes out to go and explore his yard, that's okay. He gets recess breaks. He's a king. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to do our ossicones. Those are the ones up on top of the head. For your upside down giraffe here, that's going to be this little bump up on top here. His ossicones. You can go and draw in the ossicones there. Now I happen to have some pom poms here. Grab the glue stick. If you don't have this stuff at home, that's okay. You can draw them in, you can use old buttons, 
you can do whatever you want and make your giraffe unique. But just make sure you go and give them some ossicones. It's a really fun word to say. Now we need our giraffe spots. Pretty fun. Now I'm gonna actually, ooh, my octagons are already coming off. A little bit chilly out here today. They might not stay on, so I might end up drawing them on later. It's okay. And again, folks, even if you're not following along live, join us later. These videos will be up on our website. So if you're just joining us for the first time, or you weren't able to catch our first one, by all means, go back, check them out. You can pause and rewind. So it's a good chance to watch right now, kids, and then join us later. All right, let's go ahead and do our spots. Do you want to draw them in or do you want to do some thumbprints? Thumbprints. So what's really fun about giraffe spots is they're unique for every single one. We can go in and tell exactly which giraffe we're looking at by the size and shape of their spots. They're very different, just like a thumbprint. Every one of us has our own unique thumbprint. Same thing with the spots on a giraffe. So doing thumbprint spots is a really fun way to help you remember that. Now I'm gonna go and draw mine in. I think I'm gonna be a little bit crazy. And I'm gonna give mine green spots, cause I can, why not? So mine's gonna get some nice, big green giraffe spots. I think I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with mine. Is Ozzy coming back in? So hey guys, I got a question for you. Do you know why giraffes make terrible pets? Why? <laughs> because they're too high maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> I got a million of them guys, and I'll be here all week because I don't have anywhere else to go. <laughs> all right, you want to give yours an eye? Now I was able to grab some googly eyes, but if you don't have a googly eye, draw it in. Have fun with it. So if you're doing the right side up giraffe, you're gonna do two. If you're doing the one side giraffe, you're gonna do one. There's one eye on the side there because his eyes are sideways. There's only one on each side of his head. They're not towards the front. There we go. Awesome job. Did you hear about the giraffe race the other day? <laughs> oh no, what happened at the giraffe race? It was too close to call. They were neck and neck. <laughs> oh no. That's why we keep Kylie around. She's so much fun. She's got all the good. <laughs> all right, so if you're doing your right side up giraffe, go ahead and give him some little noses right there. So you do two upside down U's with a dot in the middle. If you're doing your hand right side, if you're doing the upside down giraffe, Go ahead and give him a mouth right on the side there and a little nose up at the top. There you go. That's okay. <laughs> Giraffes are always unique and actually depending on the species they can look really, really different. I love this guy. He's definitely one of my favorites. Now if you've been following along with us, you want to say is by videos like this we absolutely love doing them. If you can, we are going to ask that if you might be able to spare just a few dollars and donate to us, that's a really easy way to help us continue the care of our animals because we're not going to stop. We are still caring even though we are closed. Now the other thing is just make sure you're keeping up with our Facebook page. We're still going to go and bring you these really great social media posts. Um, on Monday we're actually going to be doing a Harry Potter Monday with a house sorting because it is Hogwarts House Appreciation Week. Go Ravenclaws. And again, just Go be Huffle aware. Yeah. Hufflepuffs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Ozzy is the biggest Hufflepuff out there. Because he is absolutely a sweet and loyal guy who loves to be near the kitchen for food. So I'm pretty sure he is the ultimate Hufflepuff. <laughs> As we go and work on these videos, we're going to try and keep them as regularly as possible. But again, we are doing this on a voluntary basis right now. So please be aware that we might not be able to get to you as much as we want to. We're going to hope to get those out right now. It looks like we're going to be able to do these every Wednesday and Friday for sure. 
and I'm gonna try and get some bonus content in throughout. But even if we're not able to do a craft or a learning lesson, please continue to follow our Facebook page and you'll be able to see fun enrichment videos and so forth. All right, I think that about covers it. Thank you friends so much for joining us. I love our giraffes that we did today. Hold on, we have one quick question specifically for you, Kylie. What is your favorite animal? What is my favorite animal? Oh goodness. Um, probably a, if you've never heard of them, they're super fun, a pangolin. I love them. They are amazing animals. If you don't know what they are, looks like you guys got some homework out there. I highly recommend pangolin. Not a penguin, pangolin. I absolutely adore them. They're probably one of my favorite species. All right, more questions, guys. All right, uh, I'm trying to remember what the other questions were, because they were a while back. What color are Ozzy's eyes? His eyes are really pretty light brown, and his pupils are really, really unique. He has pupils that are sideways. Best way to go and look at them, look up what goat eyes look like, and that's a really way, an easy way you can see exactly how his eyes function, because he does have to deal with very bright sunlight all the time, Having wide horizontal lenses allow him to go and look very, very far out and protect his eyes from the sun. All right, and I think I can go back and find the other questions that weren't answered. Absolutely, and again, even if you guys find this video later on, please continue asking us questions. We're always happy to go and answer them. And show me your artwork. I love seeing what you guys come up with. So then when you go and you finish your giraffes, go ahead and post a picture of them. If you name your giraffes, even better. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna name this one um, Giselle. <laughs> and I think this one is going to be Alfred. I like it. I don't know why, but those are the names that I'm coming up with. But I would love to see your artwork. Same thing with the bird post earlier this week. If you go back and watch those videos and decide to do them later on, show me your artwork. I'd love to see it. Right. All right, looks like that about wraps us up for now. Thank you so much for joining us today, friends. Keep in touch. I'm going to go and post as soon as we figure out what we're able to do with these later on. We will create event pages for each lesson plan throughout the week, and we're going to have uh, the list of supplies needed for those. Now, for most of these art projects, I'm going to try and do them with things that we already probably have at home to make sure that you guys are able to stay safe and indoors as much as possible without parents having to go out and shop for anything. So if you do have questions about substitutions or something on a, the supply list that doesn't make sense, feel free to shoot us a question and we'll be able to answer that for you as much as possible. All right, looks like this about wraps it up. Thank you, thank you. I think Ozzy's here and he's gonna say goodbye to everybody. Hey, Ozzy, do you think you can take a bath? He's like, no, there's Awesome job. Good job. Go ahead and give him his cookies. Good job, bud. Good. Good job.